Hello everyone. Hi everyone doing? I hope y'all doing great and I hope y'all staying safe and staying out of trouble. And not doing too much of this road rage because a lot of people are going crazy. I seen something on this woman that she got ran over three times and that is very, very tragic. Okay, this uh, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial. Okay, I'm watching this one guy. He's talking about how it didn't damage his career or anything like that. And you know in the fuck it did since the damn Me Too movement. And they can sit there and try to spruce it up any kind of fucking way they want to do it. But that's some bullshit. I mean, I wasn't the type of person to fucking go look up on everything about Johnny Depp. But, you know, have you noticed that anything about Johnny Depp, a negative thing come up about him? And they always talked about how he was a great actor and all this. And he just a... Uh, Face of Hollywood and all this stuff. Now, this stuff right here, negative stuff ain't start coming up into, or really coming to the light until after he married Amber Heard. Did she drive him to doing this stuff? Did he? She drive him to drinking too much? Now, if you have a, if it's a person that's a fucking great actor and stuff like that, and they marry a person or be with a person that's not really good for them, and they. That right there usually tells because anything they do probably actually be way, way worse. <clears throat> like, they're saying that he started drinking more. So, uh, it's probably because of her. They said that he, he he had to take other jobs because he had started having money issues. That What did that sound like? That sounds like she all about the money. So, what do you call them? Ooh, gold diggers. Because they always talk about gold diggers. <laughs> Shoot, Kanye West even won a song or made a song about gold diggers. So, with that being said, this guy right here, <laughs> I didn't say that doesn't mean or anything, but he made someone want to slap his ass with a stupid stick. But anyway, saying that he didn't, you listen to yourself because it's just fucking off the wall. So, this is, um, this is the Google Trends data. Uh, you're going to see that it runs from 2004 uh, into 2020, and you're going to notice <laughs> the different spikes. Those spikes represent uh, when people were searching for Mr. Depp. Um, you're going to also notice here, I've got the red line uh, just showing the date uh, when Miss Heard filed the restraining order. Oh, can I... Can I write on this? You can touch the screen. Yes, okay. yes sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so here I'm when talking Mrs. about... When Mrs. Hanky took uh, a boo-boo on the bed. Here is, is just the date and time in which Ms. Hurd alleged mm. the abuse and filed the restraining order. And then this line here uh, is the December 18, 2018 op-ed. And what I wanted to do is identify the peaks of interest in Mr. Depp. Uh, and you're going to notice here... Uh, I found 17 spikes of interest that I analyzed. And then the 51 key web pages we're going to get into later, I, I've analyzed the top three search results for each spike. And then here I, I uh, analyzed the seven spikes after, uh, you know, the 2016 uh, allegations of abuse. And then again after the December 18th, 2018 uh, op-ed. Um, once you determined th these spikes, the periods of significant interest in searches for Johnny Depp um, on Google, what, what did you do with that information? So, again, the purpose of using Google Trends was just to understand when there's the most interest in Johnny Depp. Because for some reason, something was going on in the news, in the media. People are turning to Google to, to search for Mr. Depp. Uh, so then I, I went to my web browser uh, and, and then I, I searched uh, for Johnny Depp in Google. But before I did so, I have a separate web browser I call my Workbench browser. You know, I don't log into anything. It's important to be logged out of Google uh, because Google keeps a profile on you and your search results could be biased based on that profile. Then also when you go into a web browser, you have to clear your cache, you have to clear your history, clear all your data, and make sure you can get the most unbiased search results as possible. So I went into Google, uh, I typed it. Sorry about that, my six-year-old and four-year-old is fighting again. And uh, Johnny Depp, 
and then uh, I searched and set the time periods for the various points here that you see labeled with letters. Do you have a demonstrative that shows um, an example of one of those points that you um, you examined? Yes. Okay. Tom, could we go to um, the second uh, Danya demonstrative, please? Yeah, so this is, this is an, uh, an example of, I, I believe it was Biography of in Dill. Google Trends. So what I did is I went into Google, I cleared everything as I, as I told you, made sure I was logged out of Google. What did you do once you had your um, web page results, uh, such as on this demonstrative? You mean when I reviewed each web page? Yes. Yeah, so what I was looking for is, you know, were these web pages or articles, did they have anything to do with the alleged abuse? Did they have anything to do with his alcohol, drug use? Did they have anything to do with his worth ethics? So I basically, you know, tried to understand, you know, the, the content and, and, uh, of each website or article. Did you look at all of the results that turned up when you ran these historical searches? I, I only um, uh, reviewed the top three. It, why did you choose the top three? Uh, so I reviewed the top three because research shows that about 50 to 75 percent of Anyways, people only click on it. Anyways, he's basically saying that he ain't seen nothing negative on Johnny Delp and stuff like that of all of this, in which pretty much no what I said in the beginning. So, that's some bunch of hog shit. Because I did see a lot of negative stuff. But, y'all have a nice one.